everybody, Francesco here from Movement Monastery, and today we are talking to my dog, because for some reason he wants to get in the way today. You want attention? Well, go over there. Talk a little bit. Go, 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 go. Today we're going to be going over floor movement, floor flow, uh, animal flow, call it what you want, all right? These are crawling based movements, different types of patterns that you can put into a workout of your own. I highly recommend taking four of the patterns I'm going to show you and then trying to do it for a minute straight or if that's pretty easy for you, you can do it for five minutes straight, okay? So let's get cracking on some of these things. First and foremost, we're going to be doing something called the crab walk. Crab walk, you're going to have your hands behind you and you're going to be walking in this pattern. Now, if you want to try and really challenge yourself, you can have your hips up super, super high like this. It makes it harder for you to move, but it really challenges your hip extension and also your shoulders pushing open like that. But ultimately, moving with your hips down is going to allow you to move a little bit quicker, okay? So we're going to practice moving across the floor in crab position, going forward and backward. And then you're also going to practice this in a sideways fashion, traveling to the side. And you're going to find real quick that this is very, very taxing on your triceps to be able to do that. You might even find that your glutes are a little sore the next day from pushing your hips up all the time. So that's number one, okay? We're doing crab walk. Next one is forward monkey crawl. Now, there's a difference between forward monkey crawl and bear walk, okay? In bear walk, you're gonna have your legs straight, and monkey crawl, you're gonna have your knees bent, okay, or legs bent. So we're gonna start with bear walk first, actually. Bear walk being legs straight, arms straight, and traveling forward, backward, okay, and then to the side as well. Okay, and weight is distributed between the upper and lower body, forward, backward, sideways, and to the other side. Okay, from there we're going to transition into what's called monkey crawl. In monkey crawl, you want to have your hips down low. So ideally, you want your hips the same height as your shoulders as you're traveling forward, backward, sideways, and to the other side. Another way to tell if you're doing that correctly is you should be able to look where you're traveling. In bear walk, you can't do that because you're like this. It's a lot harder to see where you are. If you drop your hips down, so now they're at the same level as your shoulders, you can see where you're traveling. Okay, so that's forward monkey crawl. Forward, backwards, and sideways. Next one's called side monkey crawl. Side monkey crawl can either be in a full squat or if you have really bad dorsiflexion like me, it can be up on the ball of your foot. Either way, the idea is you start from a squat position, okay? You're gonna reach to the side, placing your hands down, and then you're going to hop your feet to the side, traveling to the side. Hands, and then feet. Hands, and then feet. If you watch me travel to the side, hands, and then feet. Hands, and then feet. Traveling to the side. The lower you stay with this, the more it's gonna be working hard on your quads. So I call this one the quad killer just because of that in particular. So keep that in mind, this one's a quad killer, okay? Sideways monkey crawl. All right, next one. Next one is going to be traveling from forward monkey crawl into crab walk, so it's a transition. So you're gonna be doing a forward monkey crawl forward, and then when you get as far as you can, you're simply gonna turn over and do a crab walk back the direction in which you came. When you get to there, you turn around, and you come back. Okay? There, turn around, and you go back. Going from forward crawl, forward monkey crawl, that is, into crab walk. If forward monkey crawl is too hard, do it from the bear walk instead. Okay, moving on to the next one. We're going to be traveling sideways and going between forward monkey crawl and crab walk. So if we start, in a sideways position here, hips are level with the shoulders. I'm gonna balance everything on one side of my body, turn everything over into my crab position, then come over to the other side, to the other side. So I'm traveling over and over, but traveling sideways. Okay, traveling sideways. This one you might get a little dizzy with as well, so just be ready for that. Okay, next one. Now we're gonna go into 
doing something that I call, um, now we're gonna go into something called sweeping. Okay, also some of you might know it as coffee grinder and break dancing, but it's a sweeping motion, okay? So this one's gonna start in your crab. This is level one with this. And you're gonna start in a fairly crunched up position. So you don't wanna have a super spread out crab. You wanna have your feet fairly close to your hands. You're gonna extend the leg out, one leg out, and you're gonna wrap that knee around the other foot, okay? Extend the leg out, bring it back, and the leg out, wrap it around. Out and back. I'll show you that from the front. Extend out, wrap around, extend out, come back, extend out, wrap around, extend out, come back. And then if you do it in a sweeping motion, all right, you're sweeping the leg around there. Now we're going to take that same motion and we're going to come up to our squat position. Again, full squat spine or on the ball of your foot, either one. From here, I'm going to extend one leg, put all my weight into that side. So I place the hand down, and now I'm in this position right here. Now you want to make sure that your hand and foot are fairly close together on the line of balance. You don't want your hands super far back. You want them either in the same line of balance going this way, so hand and foot are on the same line, or it can be slightly behind. The hand can be slightly behind the foot. So from here, I am leaning forward to this, not back, leaning forward. My chest is down low and my leg comes across and out. Across and back in, all right? And then I'm gonna to switch to the other side, extending the other leg out, bringing it across and back in. Out and across and back in. If you watch that from the side, we extend out, in, out, in, other side, out, in, okay, out, in, out, in, all right? So you have that sweeping motion side to side like that. And that's gonna lead up to something else eventually, but I just wanna show you that initially as trying to build a pattern up, okay? So now the next one, so now the next one is gonna be that sweeping motion, the leg's gonna cross the other, and then it's gonna allow you to turn around. So if I start from here, you have this sweeping motion, all right, and what happens here is that the legs are crossed, okay, and so that allows me to push into my feet and spin around to the other side, and the legs are crossed again. So, on the opposite side, right? So let's go to the opposite side here real quick. Legs extended, it crosses over, and then allows me to turn around in this low squat stance, and then to the other side in which I can do the other side, here, around, and back to there. The goal being not to touch your hands to the floor as you come around, but if you have to, you have to at first, right? Perfectly okay for you from this position here as you're coming around, if you need to, place your hands down, that's okay. That's okay for right now. But if you wanna challenge yourself with the balance, you can do it without hands. Doing that same one, but going back to the other crab position where my hands are definitely behind my feet, when I cross over, what that's going to do is allow me to have this transitional phase to get into the forward monkey crawl position. If I come back, then I'm back into that sweeping motion again. Right, if I go to the other side, same thing. Leg crosses, puts me in the position where I come over and twist out of it into the forward monkey crawl position. So, next one. Next one is what I call the grapevine, and it will progress eventually into some other moves. I also call it like the step vault figure eight. Okay, the step vault figure eight. But what happens is you're gonna be in a bear walk position, with legs straight, and then I want you to step one leg across the other one, and that's gonna make you have to step around it, and step around it, and step around it as you go forward doing your normal walk, okay? I travel the other direction. From here, I step across, step across, 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 across. Okay, so I'm stepping across side to side. And you can make this another level of difficulty up by instead of just doing the small steps back and forth, you can exaggerate it and go from one side to the other, traveling through this position right here. Okay, how do we do that exactly? 
From here, instead of having the legs straight, you have a little bit of a bend in your legs. And you're gonna step to the side. Okay, normally you push open like into a bridging position, but from here, okay, and then you're going to plant both hands and then open up to the other side. So you're doing this weaving motion back and forth, this great binding motion, one arm here, stepping through, okay? Which ultimately brings me to this last one I wanna show you, which is what I call the four walls, okay? The four walls are just that. You have four walls around you, and you have to face each wall. So if I'm starting facing you, okay, and it's in the forward crawl position, monkey crawl position, I'm gonna lift up opposite hand and foot, and I step through to facing crab to that wall. Then I'm gonna do opposite hand and foot again, come around, and now I'm facing that wall. From there to the other wall and the crab. So I'm going between forward monkey, down forward monkey crawl, through crab walk. And we're doing a turn, a twist the entire time. You will face every single wall as you come around. Not only that, but you gotta make sure your feet are spaced apart properly so that you don't start spinning in place. So if I have my feet together like this when I'm crab walking, it's gonna make me spin in place. I have to have them a little bit wider. So if you see right here, kind of wide with it, opposite hand and foot, coming here to, uh, to the forward crawl position. My feet are pretty wide. Feet are pretty wide, feet are pretty wide. So I'm creating this pattern. If I had four dots on the ground for my hands and feet to be on, one, two, three, four, right? I'm just replacing whatever side I took off of, I'm replacing that with the other side of my, with the hand and foot I took off the ground. So I get this motion. And we get all kinds of things from this exactly. Okay, from here I can go into my knee, right? I can go into my crab walk. Okay, I can do my turns. I can do my sweeps. I can come forward and sweep and turn myself around to the other side. All right, I have lots of options for that. So. What I encourage you to do now is to take each one of these, pick four of the movements, you're gonna put the timer on, and for one minute, I want you to practice going from one movement to the other. First, just practice the movements by themselves so you know what you're gonna be doing, and then timer's on, and you go. If you can get through that pretty well and have no problem, try it for five minutes, or add on another skill. So do five different types of crawls for that five minute pattern time. That's all I got for you today. I'm going to have more patterns out for you soon. Please let me know if you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you all later. You have a great day.